All right, speaking of big things on screen, let's get some StarCraft on this screen. Let's get into this game. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be here on... This is a map that was uh, in the previous live season as well. A very familiar, familiar map that both players should be aware of. And considering the fact that Bonnie has grabbed a game finally, made the score 2-1, uh, this means that Sue uh, no longer can pull off that 4-0. So he shouldn't be he shouldn't be feeling too good. Now he should be a little more alert and realizing, oh, you know, like I just played a very scary mech game, and Bunny grabbed that win with a mech play. So maybe I should be on the lookout for another play. And let me tell you something on Newkirk, you can definitely pull up another mech strategy here. You see how there's like this this high ground area here next to the third bases. It's very easily abusable the tanks and high ground positioning, and force the Zerg player to never be able to establish. Position your tanks perfectly, and then you can take control of the middle and force have to run around outside all the time. So we could definitely be seeing another mech play here from Bunny. Now that would be something there uh, that I'd very like to see, but I would also very much like to introduce our players. He is in the blue, our Terran player, winner of the last game. He is Bunny, and his opponent is going to be the Zerg player the match finally on abyssal raid but no way is he yet it is going to be the dominant zerg sue dominant zerg sue did i just give sue a new nickname i i let's get that let's get that to catch on yeah right like like that was uh, that people. was that was totally unintentional i was just but let's maybe fully say like start using it attack. yeah i well, no like like Felipe, maybe you and I are going to be like the next Artos. I mean, I can see it. We are definitely players. the next Tastosis here. I, I, I see it. I can see it. Like, we're going to create all these new Nick Catch on. And then, like, Artosis and Tastosis are going to be casting TSL. And they're going to be like, hey, have you heard? There are these two casters on Polygon Invitational. And, and they're taking over. And we're feeling threatened right now. Yeah, we're going to get in, like, a, a flame war with Tastosis. I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised after this cast. We they're they're, right. they're they're pissed. That means we've made it. We've made it. Right? That's right, everybody. You're watching yeah. Polygon Invitational number 8 with the next taste of this seeker and police <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and discuss... The Hellions coming out. Now, we've seen this from Bunny before. He clearly likes to use reactored Hellions, which is a great move. Uh, it allows you to establish map control, allows you to, to harass and prevent creep spread. It's a great play for Terran players when they go for reactor Hellions. Now, the important thing to note here is that Bunny, he is uh, starting to become a little predictable here uh, going for reactor Hellions because, you know, Sue has definitely seen Bunny go for reactor Hellions before. So he needs to do something different, which is why we're not seeing a starport from Bunny this time. We're seeing a triple CC instead, which means Bunny is definitely going to go for the economic play. He is going to go for the quick three bases and build up a scary economy, and then he's going to try to hit hit Sue with a very sick timing attack with a very strong bio army, because we do see Stim on the way, which means we're not going to be seeing Mech this time around. Bunny's going to increase to three racks, then after he establishes the three base economy, he's going to get out a very scary Marine, mar marine Army, Marine Marauder Medivac Army, and he's going to try uh, to apply as many pressure as and Let me tell you something. Considering that the map is Newkirk, this is a very droppable map. You see the main base is very exposed to all sorts of drops that can come in. And you can very easily pick up the main base and go drop at the natural and the third base also. So this is a great move from Bunny deciding not to go said to go for bio because it's so easy to drop and apply pressure here if sue is not careful he's going to end up losing a bunch of drones needlessly to a lot of drop pressure and we're seeing a small little group of links running in but they are going to be chased on away now like you said it looks like we are going to see some bio play very droppable map here but and that's one of the great things about the series so far. Bunny has not played the same game once. He's played sort of similar builds, but he has not played the same game any time. Whereas Sue is just going for what he likes, which is these roaches and getting six raptors, seven raptors on the way here. Oh, and this actually may be a great 
too. He is going to try to hit Bunny with a timing attack. But here's the thing about Bunny is that he scanned and he uses Hellions to see the drone count. He saw there were no drones at the third base, which is why he's getting up four bunkers right now. Bunny is reacting to this perfectly. He knows that he was going for aggression. And all of those SCVs already ready there to repair that bunker. Just the circle of SCVs. Yeah, no, it's a three like hatch a pressure. Yeah, no, it's a three hatch pressure play from Sue. He has no drones. And here it is! The frozen bile drop! That, um, there is no saving that bunker, but there are still two more bunkers to save. But there are so many Ravagers, and there is not much hope of Bunny stopping this, or at least stopping this with the bunkers anyway. Six SCVs going down to the frozen bile. They are now being forced to fight along with the rest of the army against these Ravagers, and they may just push them back. But the Ravagers a few more they're like they're gonna move in here just gonna pick up the supply depot 15 scvs have been killed now this is a bad situation for bunny he has no tech lab on his factory he gets... there's no way for him to hold off against the strategy link attack he's just gonna keep rallying units forward and keep applying pressure so he is pulling back to the high ground here which i think is what he needs to do that high ground advantage is what he needs but sue does have that vision with the overlord and of course Corrosive Vials are a very long range attack that can hit up high ground easy. Yeah, an important now an important thing to note here is while Spawny has lost a lot of SCVs, he's in no way out of this yet because he did go for a triple OC. So he has got mules, he's got the SCV count that he can replenish. As long as he can just hold off Caesar Crushing, he should be able to stabilize. And it looks like he is just gonna stay near this front of the ramp again. Sue morphing his wounded roachers into ravagers, get that health back, as well as just increase his ravager count. Very good on his part. And Bunny is gonna try and stem down in there. A few more SCVs going down as they were being put with the army. And it looks like Sue is going to push on in. Uh, those green marauders stemming two of the medevacs almost entirely out of uh, energy. I was about to call it magic. I've been playing too much Final Fantasy lately. Um, but they have. They are moving in, that orbital is being forced to lift up, it looks like Sue may just push through this all. I do think, uh, I do think Sue has won this game because he's unable to get higher than 50 supply right now. Sue is continuously applying rushing, and once he kills off the barracks, that's uh, just going to be game over. Sue's buddy already forced to pull off all his SCVs. When there is GG. And there you have it. Sue is going to take game number four, which means going to, the score is going to be three-one in Sue's favor. Now, that's the thing about you know being on Newkirk is that the rush distance is so close that it was very easy for Sue to pull off the three-base timing attack. And even though Bunny did scout it in time and got the bunkers up. He needed to put a tech lab and pump out tanks immediately. There's no way for you to hold that attack if you don't have siege tanks ready. 